Good afternoon. Welcome back, everyone. Our first item of business today is Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader is the Reverend Aftab Gohar, Abbots Grange Church, Grangemouth, and also Wing Chaplain for the West Scotland Wing of the Air Training Corps. Good afternoon. The presiding officer, the members of Scottish Parliament, I would like to thank you for inviting me to address to the Parliament. Psalm 133 says, how wonderful it is, how pleasant for God's people to live together in harmony. Last month, we commemorated International Holocaust Day in our churches and in our schools. And each November, we commemorate Armistice Day and Remembrance Sunday when we remember the lives lost in two world wars. We also have examples of the many wars and genocides carried out throughout the world in last few decades. These are the worst examples of mass killing, and there is also a long chain of killing through terrorism. Personally, I have experienced the loss of my mom, my nieces, nephews, cousins, uncles, aunts, and friends in a double suicide attack in my home church in Peshawar, Pakistan in 2013. Today, when we look around us, we can see a lot of mass killing throughout the world even today, especially in countries like Myanmar, Sudan, Nigeria, India, Pakistan, USA, Israel, and Palestine, all on the basis of religion, color, race, and language. Have we ever thought about the cause of this hatred, fighting, and killing? For me, the main reason for this is lack of tolerance. The word tolerance means to allow something you do not approve of or to put up with something unpleasant. In other words, to live with someone whose thoughts, religion, race, color, or language is different from ours. The problem is that many people judge other people around them on the basis of their religion, race, color, language, ability, or disability. If we all learn this one word, tolerance, then we can see a real peace and harmony around us. The best and appropriate alternative word for tolerance is acceptance. We need to accept others as they are and try to live with them peacefully. Two world wars, the Holocaust, and all other mass killings are there to teach us that these are the worst examples of intolerance and inhumanity. And we can avoid these events happening again in our time by accepting everyone with all their differences. These atrocities have happened and can happen again. So we must learn from our past and help our generation and the next to avoid any repeat of them in our time. May God bless us all. Amen. 